Bodini, tell him, what are we going to do? You're going to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Ah, ah. rumble, young man, rumble. Muhammad Ali had that confidence. And today I'm going to tell you four ways you can get confidence yourself. Okay. First way he had confidence is that he was consistently in situations where he needed confidence. For example, fighting, interviews. Look at this. You need confidence to go in, hands up, like this, and just be like, try me, try me. You need confidence for that. He was consistently put in situations where he needed confidence. Look at this. You see that? That's confidence. Pure confidence. So much confidence! You can learn something from this by putting yourself in situations where you need confidence. For example, you go to this new club or something, or this new class, and you have to say hello to everybody. Just put yourself in that situation. Or, record a video where you need to speak to a bunch of people. You put yourself in a situation where you're just speaking to people. That will increase your confidence. Boom! Boom! <laughs> The second reason people liked him is that he made jokes, he wasn't serious all the time. He was happy to make jokes, he was confident to make jokes. Watch this. Last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean I make medicine sick. <laughs> Try to make jokes like him. He had jokes, he bragged, but people knew that he was smiling and he wasn't being serious, so people was like, okay. I me like, me like, my, me, me, me like. They liked his bragging. Most people don't like it when you brag, but if you brag to an extent where it's where it's extreme, people are gonna be like. <laughs> so the next time you're doing something or speaking to someone, don't be a spaz. Just have fun. Just don't, don't be don't be like. <laughs> just have fun. Third reason people liked him is because he had a physical presence. Every time he entered the room, he was massive. He was big. He shows up. He's got your attention. He also did mad hand movements and stuff to get your attention as well. But you can do this by going to the gym, doing some push-ups. Oh, you don't even have to go to the gym. Just do some push-ups. 20 push-ups, 20 squats, 20 pull-ups. Easy. Do that every other day. And you get big. <laughs> this will increase your confidence as well. Get big, get wide. Get wide. Everybody should get wide. The fourth reason Muhammad Ali had confidence is that he took risks. He said he would do something and then do it. He took that risk. He risked humiliation by saying he would do that thing. Watch this. Jerry, I'm the greatest fighter that ever stepped foot in the ring. I'm so great, I tell a clown what round he's going down. And guess what he did? Guess what he did? Boom! Boom! He set a goal and followed through on the goal. You should do this. You set a goal and follow through on the goal. For example, right now, do 20 push-ups. I'll do it. It's the eye of See, I said I'll do something and I did it. My confidence has increased. You can do this for speaking to someone. Say you're going to speak to someone and then you go speak to them. Boom. Simple. Fast. Efficient. They've never felt about another boxer like they felt about you. Oh, it is so nice. <laughs> Still making jokes. Still making jokes. Those are the four ways Muhammad Ali had confidence. If you're going to do one thing from this video and one thing only is take a risk and improve your social skills. Just go outside and just say hello to one person. Okay, maybe two. Two people. Just say hello to them. Nothing else. Walk past them. Hello. Walk past. Done. It's so easy. Do it. It will increase your confidence. Do it. All right. Bye. Oh, subscribe, like, and comment.